So I, I call the uh, public meeting to order of the select board on June 22nd, 2016 at 6.35 p.m. And we will have- Carolyn's walking in right now. Oh, wonderful. Our chair is walking in right now, but we'll you take- can, So you can turn it over to her when she gets out. And that's right. But we'll hear some public comment from Jack Fischer at first. Thank you. I have two comments. Okay. My first comment basically is the result of the Finance Committee meeting last night. The result of the Finance Committee meeting last night was that we had to support $44,544 in total transfers. All of them seem to be well in order except for one. The one that I'm concerned about is the transfer of $26,200 to Franklin County Retirement. And this charge for $26,200 is because of scams, because they miscalculated their total payroll figure. Since they didn't calculate it properly, and we put that projection in a year ago, we now have to pay based upon their input, even though their input was wrong. So the town is eating $26,200 in our reserve fund because of that. And if you need more details, Doug can tell you all about it because he's the one who told us last night. And the question is, what can you do about it? And I don't know. I'd like to tell you that I'm not very happy to see us throw money away like this they're more worried about giving their leader a bonus down there. And bonuses, I'd like to point out to you, that's my second comment, are not authorized by our town bylaws. They are not authorized. This SCEMS uh, thing was set up so that they would follow the town of Deerfield bylaws. And they're not doing it. And I think it's appropriate that the Board of Selectmen send a letter to everybody on the Board of Oversight and say, you're supposed to follow our bylaws. You are not following them. You have, you're trying to worry more about giving out bonuses, especially to a guy that's not doing his job because if he did his job, we wouldn't have to pay 26,000 of SCEMS bills. So needless to say, it's a little upsetting to a lot of people once they found this out. So I don't know if you can find another way to get 26,000 out of SCEMS because in a week and a half, they're going to say, oh, that's a past due bill, so we can't, we can't bill for it now. So, John, well, we have not been able to address it. And I right. am sorry that I am late. I was out mowing my lawn, and unlike Kibbe, I cannot just change my clothes. <laughs> so, um, it's, I'm a little late. I apologize. When did you find out about this? Just as right now. I'm just hearing about it just now. Really? Yes. So, we have to address it, John. Is, is it available to, I mean, we are going to own half of that, or 51%, whatever our You know something, is. Carol, that's but, a negative thing. Say, oh, well, we got to pay 52%, so we don't even have to worry about billing it. No, that, that's, I, John, would you please listen to what I said? I said, we, we do, in fact, owe about 50% of that, but the, we will make sure that SCEMS reimburses the town of Deerfield for the $26,000 bill. That is a enterprise charge. I mean, why you would think that we wouldn't bill SCEMS? Somebody said that one way to do it was they've already voted on a special town meeting to pay the 57000 so you let them pay it. And then you turn around and put in a bill between now and 30 June to SCEMS for misinformation that they provided which caused the town to lose $26,200 which we had to vote last night so it wouldn't go into a fast due account. So this, this was generated right because they were expected to have more people hired throughout the year than they did and so they didn't end up paying in. I'm not uh, sure where the estimate came from. I'm just from. curious. Where, it was where a misestimate. They, right, where that was the It's not that they're from. not want, willing to pay right. and that we're not willing to bill. It just is a lot, a lot of times these things are estimates and... Like from a year ago, and they yeah. probably expected yes. a full team and that they would be paying yeah. that in, but... And it could be similar to, uh, since uh, their payroll was higher, it could, like if the town should incur a larger payroll 
or a highway for snow plowing, uh, then we would end up just paying more money in right. for the end, okay? It, it, it's an estimate, John. It's no different than our insurance, health insurance bill. We have $90,000 for this additional from the schools for people that signed up for health insurance. We always budget what we did this year plus two or three extra people. Well, we have a ton of extra people. So we have $90,000 in the poll before we even go into this next you know, fiscal year. But does that mean that you know, we're not gonna offer health insurance or you know, bankrupt the town? Well, we have to figure out how we're gonna cover it. And we will figure out how we get money back. I guess I, I'm a little upset that instead of, it's, it's always antagonistic instead of civil. It's, you know, you have an absolutely valid point and there should be better communication and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't help when you come in and, and you accuse them of doing all these things when, you know, it's just, it's just part of business. Let me ask you a question, Carolyn. Was I uncivil tonight? I thought I came in and said, there's a problem here. The problem is that we had to vote last night on the Finance Committee for $26,200. Now, how am I supposed to soften that up? Well, John, you could say, are you aware of this? Are you aware of this? Or is well, this you just said you just became aware right, of when I started right. talking. I know. Are you aware that this is happening? No, we will say, no, we're not aware of it, but we will make sure that we talk to Brenda and we talk with, you know, Barb and make sure it gets sorted out. Okay, it, it, it doesn't have to be a fight. That, that's all I'm saying. It's just, you know, we need, it, it's, it's, we need to get along and we have to work together. And it, it's, it's hard when it sounds like, it, it sounds like an accusation, that's all. That, that's all I'm saying, John. Fine, how about point number two? And what was your point number two? Point number two was they're talking, they're more worried about giving additional bonuses out, which are not recognized by our personnel committee bylaws, and they don't have the authority to do it. So I would like to see some action from the Board of Selectmen to say, you're not doing this properly, you're not following our bylaws, and you should be following our bylaws. And it's something that can be done by sending out a letter to them, to every Board of Oversight member and say, be advised that no bonuses will be given out because we're not authorized to give bonuses. The select board is the fiscal agent, or that we have a fiscal, we're the fiscal agent, and we are the ones that sign off on any bonuses, okay? They can recommend all they want. That goes with pretty much everything they do. Right. They, they make recommendations. They, are, they only make recommendations to us, all right? Just, just, just so, so what you're saying is I have nothing to worry about because you're gonna take care of 26,000. $200. We will make sure that we are reimbursed for the $26,000 from scouts. Thank you. Because that is See how civil I was? That's just, yeah, but that, John, that's part of doing business. Of course we would. It, it is, it's no different than if it was a sewer treatment plant, which is sort of separate, or Frontier or anybody. Okay? We, we, I'm just curious as to, I mean, obviously, because John was, was on the uh, finance committee here, but, I mean, when, at what point does the board select and hear of these types of bills? Well, we were is supposed it, to get okay. the request. Is it, so it is must it, have been, you know, an end of the year request. Is that correct, just, Doug? When did you come we in? We were going, this is on the agenda for tonight. Okay. This, we were going to talk about it. It's actually, uh, it's under other business. Okay. So it was new, but Doug, make sure that we, I mean, we have to sign off on stuff too. I mean, the finance committee is the, obviously the authority to transfer the money, but we're supposed to see all the transfer requests. Like Kevin was mm -hmm. talking about how we covered the shortfall for um, the tree, tree, tree work. Mm -hmm. So he had some extra money in his overtime account because we had a more mild winter. So we asked, requested to transfer his money from the overtime account to the tree account so he could try to get some of the tree done. Tree yeah. done. Because it was, okay. it's, it's a priority in the sense that it was dangerous, it's a safety issue. So we agreed to do that and that's what should they signed up on. Okay. Should we, um, 
make a memo to the Board of Oversight to maybe not promise bonuses or? No, because, because we're, 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 we'll take care of it. The select board in the town of Deerfield is the fiscal agent for the Board of Oversight. The only bonus that can be authorized is not a bonus, but a recognition of work outside the scope of the job description, uh, and it's called out of grade pay. If a person regularly puts in an additional 10 hours a week for work that otherwise they would not be responsible for, the select board have the authority to reward that person by giving them compensation for that work. But a person who simply does their job very well cannot receive a bonus. And no other board or committee other than the select board has the authority to do that. But we ultimately make the decision on that. And, and we, doc, we have to have documentation of, like Doug was saying, yeah, out, of, work. out of regular work. And they have to do something outstanding. And that has always been the criteria. We've always documented it. And, that, and, and the money has, you have to have the money to be able to do that as well. So right. it's not something that you just arbitrarily do either. Right. One so last comment? Yes, Sean. I'd like to see you put back on here public input. I think um, it's very well, this important. This was that an was... off meeting, and we were not supposed to have any discussion except executive session. Somehow the agenda grew. Oh. So you are actually speaking when you weren't even you know, supposed to be speaking. I was given permission. I know. I know. I would have given. And who's your deputy chairman? Well, we haven't sorted that out. We don't have a clerk yet either. And that's why I asked who was a clerk, because whoever was a clerk, I was going to say the other person should be a deputy chairman. There's a lot of things we haven't sorted out yet. We're, we've been a little overloaded here. Thank you. I'm not here representing the Finance Committee. I'm here representing me because I was upset to find out that we had to approve 26000 John, John, I just don't want you to be upset. It's not worth increasing your blood pressure about this. We are going to try to work on this and get this sorted out. Because we want to work together and we value the, the problem that I've run into for the last two years is when I've asked questions, I never got answers. John, I have and that, that's an answer. part of the problem that you run into that they'll dance around the issues, but you don't get any direct John, answers. John, you've always gotten answers from me, and I have always been upfront with you. And I don't think that Kip and Trevor are going to be any different. So good, thank you very much. You know, I, I always follow up. And I yield the rest of my time to M.A. Sweetland because she's here to talk to you. Too. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, John. My dear colleague. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to t bring up two things. One is about special town meetings. And I think you've heard this before, but um, it, I think it's really important for special town meetings to be for things that could not possibly be anticipated at, for a regular town meeting and that are too urgent to put off until the next town meeting. I agree. And, and I, it seems like um, things like uh, vehicles. I mean, there were a lot of things on this last town meeting that certainly could have, it seems to me. No, I mean, what happened is at our regular town meeting, um, I thought everyone had agreed to um, not have our five-year plan, uh, public hearing for our five-year capital investment plan. Um, everyone, I thought everyone was on the same page because it was outdated. And we made a commitment of May 25th to have our meeting and work on it over the summer. And so I thought everyone was on the same page. But at our, at our regular town meeting, um, um, someone's stood up and said that we were not abiding by the, um, our bylaws. And so we were not able to have our capital improvement plan voted on by regular town meeting. So we actually had to go through a special town meeting to get our um, capital improvement I, I, items yeah, I apologize, I was not able to come to regular right. town meeting, so I didn't understand that. So, but in general, but I just comments want to are say, still... I just want to say, because again, I need to say, um, how wonderful John Parsky was. He um, actually met with all the department heads and put together a five-year plan that was viable and as, as up-to-date as possible. We had no input from the schools, um, despite Trevor, myself, and John all talking to the school. But 
you know, there's nothing you can do. They did not participate, but every other department participated, and we have a we have a viable five-year plan to start our process for this coming year. But the plan was so outdated that, you know, it we didn't think it was worth having a public hearing on because it was outdated. But. We now have a viable one. We had the public hearing, and we did vote the line items. So I'm sorry if you felt that. No, I, it was much more that sort of generally yeah. special town meetings have been occurring more and more often, and with things like vehicles and th that, that show up on them. And, and because there's very, so few people, I'm just using vehicles as an example. It's not, that's not my issue particularly. But, but because so few people come to special town meeting, and there's a lot of people at regular town meeting. It just, you know, every effort that you all can make, and also special town meetings are expensive. So every effort that you can make not to have two or three in a year, and to make sure, you know, if you can put it off, unless it's, you know, incredibly urgent. Believe me, we try to put it off. Every yeah. effort is not to have a special town meeting. We, feel the same. we do not want to have special town meetings. Okay, and then the other thing related to town meetings is um, just in general, to have the um, warrant posted on the website because I went and looked and not, none of the uh, additional information was there. So when I got to town meeting, for instance, on the net metering, you know, those agreements, there wasn't all of that stuff. I know it was down here, but I didn't know it existed. So I didn't know to come down and pick it up. And if, if it's posted, the warrant was posted, but none of the attachments were posted. I, and so it would be really nice if, and I, and I would also say that in relation to s selectmen's meetings and other boards, minutes, if you go and look for agendas and minutes on the website, they're not there, or they're, they're not there for you know, four or five months back. And, you know, it's way, way behind. Well, part of the reason is we're a bit understaffed and we run our minutes. We have a bad tendency, which we need to improve. But we have but a bad tendency not to approve minutes for two or three weeks at a time. Yeah. So and, and even agendas aren't posted. Well, they should be. Agendas on, should on be on the website. So agendas well, are posted on the website. Okay. So if I go, if I go to. Um, this, so if I go to the pull down menu that says boards and committees, go to selectmen, and then there's, at the top of that there's agendas and minutes, and I punch that in. I don't know, I don't use my that, that would be the logical place so under, under agendas and minutes is where I would expect I would, to find I would it. have to answer your question because okay. it works the website. Um, there are several things happening. First, the website, at least more than six months ago, was declared insufficient to do what we wanted it to do, which is to clearly communicate information to the residents of Deerfield. Second, we went to a different calendaring option, uh, which meant that items such as uh, the regular schedule of meetings was not in the same place, but instead was under a listing of public events, um, which is on the left-hand side of the website, second item down in the left-hand menu. Uh, when you go to the calendar listing of a public event, click on any public event, the agenda shows up there. So you know when it is, where it is, and... Yeah, I, I, I'm hearing right. that. It's I hope lots of other people know that too, because the, uh, there's the, a place, there's another place to, for them, and right. that's yeah. the logical place Correct. to find them. So Correct. if there could be some note on the front page or something as to where the to find them since it's third changed. The thing we're doing is we are in about phase three of five of completely revamping the website. We've been working with virtual towns and schools for about four months uh, to completely replace the existing website. The new website, it is hoped, will be very clean, very clear, and provide no more than two clicks to any piece of information that any person wants uh, in regard to minutes, agendas, supporting documentation, record of proceedings, uh, information about any given department, boards and committees uh, and down the line. We're using a couple of additional software, uh, or sorry, website resources. Uh, one to provide a fully updated list of our appointments as well as employees, including their terms and when their terms expire or renew. And the other, we're using the same uh, tool that we use to host our bylaws 
to put all of our documentation, our public records, as many as we can, online. That will include postings, agendas, and minutes once they're approved by the Board or Committee, um, assuming we have them submitted to us. Great. So Doug, when, what's, what's your timeline on this? I'm not going to give a timeline because I don't know how long it'll take, uh, because we are understaffed. Doug is a sole guy. I'm sorry? Doug is the sole guy. He does everything. S-O-U-L. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know. Thank you. Thank you, M.A. I'm, 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 it's I'm just that when I come to a town meeting, comments, right, and, and if I, I'm, it's my job as a citizen to do, to, to, to know how to vote. And at this last town meeting, the special town meeting, both on the library and other things, it, it was really hard to receive all that information in such a short time and, do, and, 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 and try and anticipate whether people have done due diligence. I mean, I need to know that before I vote yes or no on something. I need to be able to know that people have done due diligence and, and that's my job as a citizen. And so, I actually really appreciate that. I wish more people were like that. <laughs> Instead of using just rumors, they would actually use the rumors. So, so, you know, there, there, is, there is that part. Um, and, and I also was a little miffed that we were voting on a net metering and a pilot agreement that had already been signed. That we, you know, that I, I'd rather vote on something before rather than after. And I noticed that the net metering uh, agreement was signed in January, and the other one I think was signed some other time. And and that just, you know, it seems kind of odd to be asked to vote on things after they've been signed. It had to be confirmed by town meeting. Okay. Pardon me. It had to be confirmed by town meeting. Right, but before they're signed, not after. Uh, no, actually, after. Uh, for many contracts, they have to be negotiated and agreed to by all parties. Um, let's take the, the, the tax structure tax agreement, for example. It has to go before the assessors. They have to approve it. The select board have to approve it. And then town meeting, because it's an agreement that lasts more than three years, town meeting has to approve it. But the, the difficult part in that, for that case, and in many contracts, is getting the independent boards and committees who do the very, very close detailed work to uh, agree to all of the terms. They do the hard and fast negotiation. And there's no point in asking town meeting to ratify a contract that the it's parties the that are responsible for negotiating and haven't fully agreed to. The contract is no good without all of those steps. So even if it had been agreed to by the assessors and the select board and came to town meeting and town meeting voted it down, it's dead. Um, so town meeting ratification was necessary in both of those cases, but would have been pointless without the other two boards' approval of it. The other two boards being selectmen and? Uh, if we're talking about the tax agreement, was the um, selectmen and the uh, assessors. Assessors. The assessors negotiated. And the, and the, the net metering? The net metering was approved by the Board of Select. Thank you. Thank you. Back over to the chair. Sorry. Anybody else want to talk? I was going to yell Johnson. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, I have a question. Is there some questions? Sure. Um, First of all, when is your next meeting? Is it next week? Yes. Okay. But it's Tuesday. 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 Okay. We already have a meeting on Okay. My question was actually about staffing. You mentioned Doug um, being by himself. Did we? Is, do you not have an assistant anymore, Doug? Um, the there is still a part-time temporary person. Okay. That was it. But she's not very working that many hours. Um, and there, and there's nobody. We don't have qualified person in that position. Um, so could we go on to um, the first item is Mark Whiteman's um, purchase. I'm looking on. forward in the, uh, in the packet, and I apologize, I don't see it in the packet, but we have negotiated, uh, our attorneys, more to the point, have negotiated the purchase and sale and the final um, deed transfer of the Mark Whiteman um, Purchase of land, and I apologize, I'm looking for it, there it is. Um, this is a uh, purchase of land that was awarded to Mark Whiteman, uh, map 88, lot one, upper road, uh, directly across from um, 
Joe and Margaret, last name, I can't think of it. Anyway, first lot on the left edge across the bridge, uh, Mark Whiteman uh, won it as it was awarded to him as part of the uh, sale of town and land. He's, uh, the total purchase price is $25,150, um, I think. Um, there are two packets here. Um, this again has been negotiated by the town's attorney, uh, along with Mark Whiteman's attorney. Um, um, and it needs your signatures. This is exactly what um, the town voted to to sell. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So no no changes. No changes. Okay. It's just the paperwork for it. Is this the only method that the town can utilize to dispose of land? Yes. The we town could utilize two methods. One is an invitation for bid, which is essentially the highest qualified bidder wins. Uh, the highest bid from the qualified bidders wins. The um, other method would be a request for proposals where the, the uh, bids are considered not on the merits of the price, but on the merits of the use of the land. Um, so if you had a piece of land that you wanted to sell, but you had specific purposes in mind, then you could put in qualitative criteria that says the uh, bids will be rated according to their greatest financial benefit to the town, or their ability to create senior housing, or their ability to create low-income housing that is most beneficial to the town, along those lines. But in those cases, you could not consider a price proposal. Bruce, sorry. I, yes, the, I was just wondering if the, the price for the sale of property met or exceeded the um, appraised value? It does not. It does not. It's it's less. We had already agreed to sell this to Mark before that amendment was um, proposed at town meeting. That the amendment at town meeting refers to other additional parcels. I guess my brain's racing here. Couldn't you, couldn't the town hire a real estate person to list a parcel of land similar to this and get proposals for a certain length of time? Wouldn't that qualify the same way? But you, the town would benefit, I think, greatly by doing that. The town could do one of two things. The town could either hire a marketing agent for a fixed fee where the fee was not based on the final sale value of the land. And in that case, it would be just an independent contractor working for the town to do the marketing on these properties, the advertisement and that sort of thing. Yes, the town could do that. Or the town could issue a request for proposals for a real estate service, for real estate services, and then review those requests based on qualitative criteria and then choose the most highly qualified individual um, to then conduct those sales. In that case, one of the criteria may be how much of a percentage of the overall sale price does the marketing person get. Um, that might be one of the pieces of criteria you could assess it on. Um, or you could establish a fixed fee and say, you will get no more than 2% of the total sale or what have you. Um, and then it's up to the so, so, so yes, the, that the is short of the long is you, we could put a, a, a request to have realtors bid on or, or their services and Correct. if they could come in and say we're going to uh, list the price that we agree that's going to be $8,000 and we're going to get 5% of the sale price and then they get multiple bids and bring them to okay. us. We're actually going to have to do I mean, that. that seems, I mean, that's the way everybody does it anyways. Well, the easier way to do it is simply to do an invitation for bid and have a very long bid period. Um, and have a very long bidding period. Um, and to advertise it as best as we can. If we want to hire a marketing person above and beyond the invitation for bid for the land, then we can do that. If we want to set a minimum bid for an invitation for bid, we can do that. We, that's what we're um, going to have to do. Yeah. But, but, the, ultimately, the land has to be sold under one of those two mechanisms, an IFP or an RFP. Like the garage over at, at the Oxford Pickle is assessed for $90,000. No one All right, I, is going to pay $90,000. So we got to figure out how we're yeah. going to move forward. 
I mean, you're never going to get you're never going to get close to that. So, what we have to do is talk with the assessors and see because of um, what voted at town meeting how how do we get re, you know reassess the property so they can actually sell it. Otherwise, we well, might be just not going to worry about. It's a conversation you need to have with the assessors because right. there's no sense of putting a high value on something when it's no strictly it's not you, right. it's not worth it. So we're going to have to figure out somehow to go forward, like with the, that garage. And it seems to me in the, in the process that the town currently uses, it's kind of like anybody, it's a hit or miss type thing because I don't really want the land or I might not really want it, but you know what, I'll put out a bit of 25000 If I get it, fine, if I don't. And then if that's the only one, then the town, there you go. Well, it, I mean. And, you know, so the other way, if you, However, we have to put out an invitation, and it goes through a realtor. They get a lot more exposure, and you know we're agreeing on the set price, which is what the real world does. And then we get to choose if we want to sell, you know, which one of these you know, bids that we want to get. I think we didn't. The town would benefit greatly. Well, that way. we're going to have to do something different. So, yeah. it, and it will okay. entail a lot more work, and it will entail a cost. We were trying to do this with no cost, but. But it, to me, I'd rather. It doesn't matter if you're paying somebody five. If it's five percent of a hundred thousand, you know, you, you're paying that money. But look at how much more the town is getting. So it, it, it's really kind of a. You know, wow, well, most of these parcels are kind of random. Well, I, I get that, but I mean, this particular one, you know, you can use as a building lot. Yes. So I mean, twenty-eight thousand dollars. That's what it was. Twenty-five thousand. That, that's a real good price for a building. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, like that, really. Yeah. Well, we have to vote on it. You guys can make a motion. I'll make a motion to accept, to accept the sale. Sure, we just the hand all the way. Okay. I second the motion. Okay. Is there any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, then yes, we have to sign. All right. So. Should I just put one in here or does that not yeah. really matter? Doesn't matter. Okay. We just have to make sure we sign all the paper. Yep. You need shades, huh? Oh, yeah. That's it, brutal back there. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Seven days. Okay. And the check will be presented to town accountants. Sewer study committee 
and then we'll take care of your Thanks. Um, you, you do have a memo in your packet yes. in relation to that? And I did my very best to try to include all the names that were given to me at the special town meeting for this study committee. I may have missed one or two, and I apologize in advance to anybody I may have forgotten. Um, if they're here, please speak uh, up. It's, uh, I'm sorry. It's under uh, discussion items. It should be right after that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six people. Um, yeah, we have, so we're short one, but um, Can we do that? yeah, I think yes. we would just go ahead and appoint the six and then they can sort out when they want to get started because I, I think the sooner the better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, yes. unless, yeah. Kip, would you like to be on this committee? Yeah, yeah. 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 okay. I was just hoping. Um, then what we can do, then you guys can just start sorting out um, meetings. Because um, we've got to make some decisions. Yes. It would be wonderful to have recommendations coming from a committee versus just yep. us making a decision. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so since I'm since you're going to recommend you, I, I'll make a motion that we appoint Jack Davey, John Parsky, Jeff Upton, Bruce Hunter, Bruce St. Peter, uh, Paul Kostecki, and um, Kippy Kamosa uh, as voting members of this committee, and Kevin Scarborough and Keith Klein, uh, Mill, uh, Minnell for our ex officio not voting members. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, just make sure. Uh, what Jeff, that for? That's for the sewer. It's the sewer committee. Sewer so, study. Yes. So Jeff and uh, Bruce and anybody else that was appointed, you just need to come into the town hall with Barbara to make sure you're on that committee. Okay. And I volunteered for that one too. Oh, did you? That night. Oh, did you? I, again, I apologize. I may have missed the name or two. John, I'm sorry. Well, you can join that committee if you want. We'll join add you right now. I make a motion we appoint John Burchard <laughs> Senior on the committee. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So you. you will be on it as well, John. Thank you. So you just make sure you check in with Barb. Bruce. Yes, uh, we'll, we have a charge, written charge. Um, um, I did recommend a written charge. Yes. The, 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 um, Purpose of the study and recommending efficient, economical, and um, good methods for stormwater and wastewater management treatment and disposition to the town uh, is what the recommended action is or your charge. And the idea is to give us some guidance, um, get into a lot more of the nitty gritty and give us guidance on what we should be doing and recommending to us what is a, a good course of action for the town. Uh, obviously, $32 million price tag for updating our sewer treatment plan doesn't even cover the infrastructure of the pipes and all that. It's ridiculous. Um, and, we need, and we can't afford that. So what we need is a priority list of what actually needs to be done. We need a work management plan of how we are going to attack the infrastructure issues, you know, our pipe, replacing old pipe. A lot of the pipe is clay. Um, so it would be nice to have some kind of long-term plan that would be passed on to the Long Range Planning Committee, Capital Improvement Committee. And I think that's why John Parsky was a little bit interested. Um, and it, it's also important to figure out what we're actually going to do and then how do we finance what we're doing. I mean, we're applying for Mass Works grant right now. Um, hopefully we'll get it for the Headworks project, but there are other improvements and um, so given the price tag, it's critical that you delve right into this right now and that we have a plan, um, you know, a work plan of some sort. 
that we can do as a town. Bruce, did you did you have any uh, wording for a charge that you had in mind? I'm just curious. If no, you I just want to make sure we covered all the sewer related issues in town. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't. Whatever was read didn't make much sense to me. Well, that was. Just um, the charge needs to be his what we want you to look at and his what we, you want us to come up with the well, final result. That was what I was trying to relate I understand that, but I'd like to have that in writing so we have no issues on what our charge is. I would like to point out that I did provide a series of recommended charges to the committee. Right. Which did go into great detail. Yeah. Um, and yeah. the board can choose to adopt that and charge the committee with that or not. So we'll pass it on for your first meeting. Kip will be on the board, so he'll mm -hmm. clarify some of this. And at that first meeting, the board, <coughs> the, the committee can look at the charge, and if they want to expand it, then we could, I can bring it back, and we, as a board, can talk and, and make an official charge right. and right. go forward from I, that. I, it's, it's critical that we have a game plan. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I want us to have um, a plan for uh, infrastructure replacement it's been not addressed for years and years and years and we that's ridiculous we need to make sure we do something and then we also need a plan moving forward on what what repairs actually need to be done and the priority of those repairs mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff and we need a game plan and you know I tried to work on it a little bit myself through the HUD grant figuring that mm -hmm. if we got a grant to cover the whole thing then nobody would be complaining too much about it but we didn't get the grant so we still need to work on options. One of, and, it, and it still is viable. Greenfield is willing to just pipe up from Old Deerfield across the Cheapside Bridge and, and take Old Deerfield. I mean, they're still interested. That, because that was one of the original, that was part of the HUD grant that I had put in that we would take, because it was a resiliency grant. And so the idea was we'd get, um, you'd be able to, Greenfield would be able to upgrade their plan um, on the resiliency front, you know, making it more resilient for climate change. We would take our plan out of the floodplain that potentially needs $10 million worth of upgrades, you know, that we don't want to put that kind of money into that plan because it, it does flood there yeah. on a regular basis even. Um, and then take, Greenfield was interested in doing it because they could have an institutional rate. We are, one of the actions is that you will be deciding is do we want an institutional rate and rate changes and stuff and obviously I'm interested in that. Um, but then the idea was to upgrade um, our South Deerfield plant because it is only at like half capacity and take um, to Sunderland, offer to Sunderland that we would be able to take their um, pipe in from to, you know, their sewer plant would pipe into ours and, stuff, and they could, you know, get rid of theirs. And we could also offer to Waitley to be piping in. So we'd be more at capacity, we've upgraded, and that kind of thing. But we didn't get the grant, so it doesn't matter. Is the sewer inside so complete? Um, it is, is not that? complete. No. Okay. Um, yeah, we still... have a timeline for that? Hopefully within a couple of months. Okay. It's I know they're working on it. And Kevin is aware that we need to speed it up. Cool. So maybe the, having the committee. I, I mean, with, actually, based on the feedback from the town, Kevin has basically told the two consultants to put a hold on everything. Uh, whether uh, Dave Prickett, the guy who's doing the sewer study committee, or sewer, sewer, sewer rate study, took that to heart and stopped doing everything, I'm not sure. Okay. I will contact him tomorrow directly and ask. Well, we'll, we'll let Kip can. That's the gentleman I met with with you yes. in the office Correct. a month or so ago. Yeah. Okay. yeah I mean, I, I, I spoke with him for a good 45 minutes, and I, I think I have a good idea of where he was heading and what his general, you know, train of thought was with uh, the study. Although I don't know the final outcome of it, I can share with you in detail what it is and you know my thoughts on it as well. I think we just have to that. Yeah. Um, I know they're not, it's not complete, but the idea is to have... Is that a 10,000 dollar study? Yes. I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to spend the whole amount. Or yes. Do we, you think so? Okay. Kip, will you be setting the date for the first meeting? Yeah, um, sure. I, I, I can. 
I don't know. He'll send, he can send out a doodle poll or have Doug send out a doodle poll and you guys can figure out when you want to meet. A doodle poll. Really? Well, wow. what is that? Okay. Wow. Well, and I will try to do my best. Everybody, to it's. Come on, you guys. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm the one that's technology, technology challenged. Technology. Come on. A doodle poll is you just send out these are the dates that we were thinking of, these are the times we were thinking of, this is work for you, and then you just put a check on your name. <laughs> And then you send it back, and then the one, the the dates that have, and the time that have the most checks is when you have the meeting. I can't believe that, really. <laughs> okay. These are evil. All right. Well, anyway, okay. Usually I'm the one that's like, what? What are you talking about? Okay. Um, anyway, we'll 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 send out some kind of email. Doug, Doug will organize, Kip and Doug will organize the committee's first meeting. However, whether it's doodle poll or just this is when we're going to have a meeting. Whatever. Okay. Do, can I ask if Jeff and Bruce deal in doodle poll? Uh, I, I love my email. Oh. <laughs> I, was just, so, yeah. I was just curious if they knew what it was either. Yeah, we'll be doing it for Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do my email. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a wrench in it. That's important. Okay. Uh, um, okay. That was not important anyways. Um, okay. Well, let's let's we um, need to vote to go into executive session so we could um, meet with the, the yes. Uh, if the agenda changed from what's online. Was other appointments were being made tonight? That is actually on the agenda here. We're doing approved appointments. You have in your packet a list of appointments. We haven't uh, discussed that yet. Right, I, but I did want to point them out to you. There are many, many, many of these that have not confirmed that they wish to be reappointed yet. We have reached out to committee chairs. Uh, they've confirmed that they've received the message and we've asked the committee chairs to reach out to those members of their committee that are due to be reappointed. Um, we are trying to keep track of that as best as we can. We're, obviously we're gonna have to do this by next week. Next Tuesday. So Correct. Next Tuesday's meeting. Yes. Appointments? Well, I, I, we, we will have to because um, the most appointments expire at, as on June thirtieth. So we will have to do that. Any other business will be brought up after the second Um. Yes. We um. Do we have any other business that we can do? Because I have very little. All right. Information. Actually, uh, we're probably going into executive session, and then this. This was a meeting was entirely just to be executive session. The other things got added in. Um, we were um, meant to do this as an option, so this would, would not um, impact our regular business. Need. So, if, you, if it's okay with you guys, Bruce have something that he wanted. No. Okay. We'll, we'll probably what we'll do is we'll after executive session we'll, we will adjourn. We'll, we'll make that as part of the motion. Okay. Did you did you want to do any of the EMS people, or did we tell next week to do all? Of them? Yeah, let's wait. Okay. So we'll keep it. Um. Okay. Um. I will entertain a motion. To motion to go into executive session. Second the motion. Oh no, we have to. Let me to, read. Yes, you have, have to read, read, read the entire and we actually have. A couple issues so you have to okay. read. So you a, want to read B, C, A, B, and C, and D? So uh, I make a motion to go into executive session. Uh, executive session. Oh, it's not D, excuse me. It's A, C, and C. Okay. An executive session may be called for the purpose of discussing the purchase, sale, or exchange of real property if the chair declares that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on negotiating position of the public body. Keep reading. Uh, and C. And C. An executive session may be called for the purpose of discussing strategy with a, with respect to pending litigation. Um, would you second that? I'll second the motion. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. McDaniel. Aye. 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 Aye.